Hey, AJ, what's up, man? Hey, listen, are you gonna answer some questions for me, bro? Come on. Okay, when did you receive that mail? Just give me a second. And is this the register number that you're having to your Amazon wallet? Is this the register number that you're having to your Amazon account? Just this camera sends an email, which you can see on the screen right now. This email tells people that they have ordered something, and if they haven't done this, which obviously they haven't, they should call the Amazon refund team, and the number is given to them. Once you call this number, you get connected to a call center in India. Please help me with the verification code that you are going to receive on your number, okay? All right. Yes, ma'am. With the help of that, we are going to connect your device to the Amazon secured server so that we can technically find them out that what you have to do, right? We can cancel this order from your end because it's not getting a uh, cancel from our end, right? This scam is so successful because by hacking into the victim's Amazon account through a very believable way of social engineering, the scammer gets all of the victim's information. He pretends like this information is coming from his Amazon database, and that's why victims start trusting these guys. Now let's dive a little bit deeper into the identity of these scammers. I started sniffing around on the scammers machine and I found some interesting files on there. The first and the third one are not really interesting and the second one is a screenshot of a victim screen where you can see that the victim has paid the scammers 1000 US dollars. Lastly, I also got access to his Google Drive which included a bunch of useless pictures. Two of those pictures though were very useful to me. It was two pictures of a table with an Aadhaar card on there. An Aadhaar card is basically an Indian identity card. Both the front and the back got taken a picture of, which revealed the scammer's name, social security number or Aadhaar number, and his address. To get a closer indication, I decided to run a GPS scan on a reverse proxy on the scammer's network. And those coordinates take us to the very north of New Delhi, which is about 50 kilometers away from Gurupram, Haryana. Since the scammer was using a laptop, I could get all of the Wi-Fi access points around him. Not only could I see the scammer's location from his Wi-Fi access points, I could also see the configuration of the network that he was currently using. Some personal information on him. Uh, he opened his Facebook so I could see some of his personal information. So I'm gonna scare him with his face and then with some of his personal info. DFO09D. DFO09D. Okay, sure, I got that. And can you tell me your good name? What is your full name? It's uh, James Boiler. B-O-I-L-E-R. Okay, sir. So I have checked everything for you, and it seems like it's a breach on your network, which means it's an attempt of hacking which has taken place. All right, sir. And can you tell me what you can uh, see on the task manager? Ultra Viewer, Windows Explorer. Okay, and any other thing? Do you see any Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome over there? Uh, yes, I can see all my, my programs. Hey, AJ, what's up, man? Hey, listen, are you gonna answer some questions for me, bro? Come on. As you can see, I know who you are, man. I know everything about you. Are you gonna answer some questions for me or not, bro? Come on, be honest with me, man. I know everything about you. I know what you do. I know everything about your company. The guy that's sitting next to you, man. Just answer some questions for me, bro. I can see you right now. Answer some questions, okay? I know you can hear me. Bro, answer some questions for me, okay? AJ, come on. Bro, why are you taking off the headset, man? Yo, bro, listen. Hello? Oh, yeah, I got the phone. Look at this ugly guy, man. Oh, let me open up and open. <laughs> yep, cover up the camera. <laughs> He's running away. <laughs> Yo. So at this point, as you could see, the scammer had jumped out of his chair when he saw his own face and he ran away from the computer. I decided to lock his computer with one of my remote access tools and I tried to talk to him through voice chat of my remote access tool, uh, but he didn't come back. He didn't want to answer any questions, but the whole call center did show up in front of the webcam and they uh, came to look at this whole fiesta. AJ, 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 I, I know you can hear me. AJ. Don't run away from me, I can see you bro. AJ, come back man. 
Why are you running, AJ? You cannot run away from me, man. AJ, listen, bro. Yeah, what's up, man? What's up? Hey, take your hand off the camera, man. Take your hand off the camera right now, bro. I'm gonna expose you to my YouTube channel, man. I hope you enjoy the video. AJ, you wanna answer some questions for me? I know you are a scammer. I have access to your computer. I can hear you right now. Talk to me. Talk to me, bro. Talk to me. Don't drop the camera. What are you doing? Why are you dropping the camera?